Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, Clive Myrie. In the spotlight tonight are Steve Brown, who is retired. He'll be answering questions on the Nobel Prize winning scientist Marie Curie. Holly Franklin, a student whose subject is the BBC sitcom Ghosts. Lisa Sedge, a primary school teacher whose subject is the 15th century English Queen Elizabeth Woodville. And David Drury, a tour guide whose specialist subject is the acclaimed street artist Banksy. <laughs> It is a pretty simple concept. Demonstrate what you know in the time allowed. That is the essence of mastermind. But it isn't just the clock you need to worry about. The famous black chair and the unforgiving spotlight are burdens in themselves, heaping more pressure on our contenders. Two minutes on their specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge are coming up for a place in the semi-finals. So can I ask our first contender to join us, please? Your name? Steve Brown. Your occupation? Retired. And your specialist subject? Marie Curie. The double Nobel Prize winning Polish scientist who received global recognition for her work on radioactivity in two minutes. Starting now, Marie Curie was born in Warsaw in 1867, the fifth child of parents who were both employed in what profession? Teachers. Yes, while studying at the Sorbonne in Paris, Curie was introduced to her future husband, Pierre, by which Polish physicist and his wife? Kowalski. Yes, in 1898, Gabriel Lippmann presented Curie's first report to the French Academy of Sciences, which was on the subject of rays emitted by compounds of uranium and which other element? Thorium. Yes, the Curies almost left Paris in 1900 to continue their work in which Swiss city where Pierre had been offered a professorship and a laboratory at the university? Geneva. Yes, Marie and Pierre Curie won the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics for their work on radiation, an award they shared with which other scientist? Henri Becquerel. Yes, in the same year that they won the Nobel Prize for Physics, Marie and Pierre received which annual award for an outstandingly important discovery in chemistry from the Royal Society in London? The Franklin Medal. No, the Davy Medal. Pierre was killed in a road accident in 1906, but Marie Curie did not hear the news for several hours as she'd taken their daughter, Irene, to which town on the outskirts of Paris for the day? Saint-Rémy. No, fontenay aux roses In 1911, Curie was awarded a second Nobel Prize, partly for isolating which radioactive element and, according to the citation, for the study of the nature and compounds of this remarkable element. Radium. Yes, through experiments that she conducted in 1908. Curie discredited the work of which Nobel Prize-winning chemist who had claimed that lithium could be produced if copper was combined with radium emanation, or radon. Ramsey. Yes, when Curie's relationship with her fellow scientist, Paul Langevin, became a national scandal. Stolen letters she'd written to him were printed in which weekly publication? L'Oeuvre. Yes, Curie failed to be elected to the French Academy of Sciences in 1911, despite the support of which mathematician, the permanent secretary who asked, where would the Academy find a scientist with greater authority on radioactivity? Emile Borel. No, it was Gaston d'Arboux. And Steve, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got eight points. OK. Our next contender, please. Your name? Holly Franklin. Your occupation? Student. And your specialist subject? The BBC sitcom Ghosts. Yes, the comedy series about the ghostly inhabitants of Button House and the young couple Alison and Mike Cooper who inherit it. In two minutes. Starting now, Alison Cooper gains the ability to see the ghosts of Button House after she's injured when which ghost pushes her from an upstairs window? Julian. Yes, Julian Fawcett. Which grade one listed medieval manor house near Guildford in Surrey is the main filming location for the show? West Horsley Place. Yes, in Free Pass, the deceased Regency-era poet Thomas Thorne complains that a period drama being filmed at Button House is wrong because although it's set in the 1820s, the chair legs are in what style? Rococo. Yes, what's the name of the restaurant where Alison and Mike confront the imposter Lucy after Fanny and the other ghosts uncover her plan to con them out of their savings? 
some dreams. Yes, in The Ghosts of Christmas, one of Mike's sisters plays a video from the previous Christmas of Mike angrily protesting, I don't want to wear a stupid elf costume. I look like a what? A lime. Yes, in The Grey Lady, the ghost of the beheaded nobleman Humphrey Bone is reading a biography of which historical figure when he says, I do not like where this is going. King Charles I. Yes, cast members Simon Farnaby and Ben Wilbond have been credited with co-writing the Christmas special, The Ghosts of Christmas, and which other episode from series two? Uh, Reading Weddy. Yes, what's the name of the Edwardian aristocrat Fanny's beloved stuffed dog which goes missing after a party in the episode About Last Night? Dante. Yes, when community groups use Button House in something to share, the caveman Robin is disappointed to find that which class is not running as he'd hoped to work on his core. The Zumba class. Yes, what's the name of the composer who wrote the music for Series 1, including the show's theme, and co-wrote music for Series 2 together with Rally Long? Arthur Sharp. Yes, when Mary, who was apparently burnt at the stake for witchcraft, describes how to make a wicker basket in Who Do You Think You Are, she advises that it should be the height of five what? Five potatoes. Yes. What's the name of the statue in the grounds of Button House that the Georgian noblewoman, Kitty, claims to be her best friend? Florence. Yes. What's the title of the poem that Thomas Thorne read aloud for two hours to a gathering on the day that he died in a duel in 1824? Hermione and Roger. It was Hermione and Roger. And Holly, you had no passes and you've got 13 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name? Lisa Sedge. Your occupation? Primary school teacher. And your specialist subject? Elizabeth Woodville. The queen consort of Edward IV, who rose to prominence during the Wars of the Roses and was the mother of the ill-fated princes in the tower in two minutes. Let's go. Elizabeth Woodville is believed to have been born around 1437 in which village a few miles south of Northampton? Grafton. Yes. What was the name of Elizabeth's first husband with whom she had two sons? Sir John Grey. Yes. After the death of her first husband in 1461, Elizabeth became involved in a dispute with her mother-in-law, Lady Ferrers, and enlisted the help of which prominent Yorkist? Uh, Lord Hastings. Yes. Elizabeth and Edward IV were secretly married around May 1464, with the king only informing his council in September when they pressed him to accept which foreign bride? Uh, Bona of Savoy. Yes. Elizabeth was known for her piety and founded a chapel in Westminster Abbey dedicated to which saint, the protector of women in childbirth? St Erasmus. Yes. During the rebellion against King Edward, Elizabeth and her daughters visited which city in July 1469, entering by the Westwick Gate, where she was met by the mayor? Norwich. Yes. What was the name of the midwife who assisted Elizabeth at the birth of her son, the future Edward V, in 1470, and who was granted an annuity of £12 by Edward IV? A lady scrope. No, it was Marjorie Cobb. While Elizabeth was waiting for news of Edward as he fought rebel forces at the Battle of Barnet in 1471, she received what specific personal item from him as a sign that he was safe? His ring. No, it was a gauntlet. What was the name of the Archbishop of York and Lord Chancellor who presented the Great Seal to Elizabeth while she'd taken sanctuary at Westminster Abbey following the death of Edward IV in 1483? Rotherham. Yes. Elizabeth died on the 8th of June, 1492, in which abbey in London? Bermondsey. Yes. After Elizabeth was unceremoniously buried in 1492 alongside her husband in St George's Chapel, Windsor, the funeral services were presided over by the Bishop of Ware. Westminster. No, Rochester. Information from which bishop is thought to be the source of the Duke of Gloucester's claim that Edward IV's marriage to Elizabeth was invalid and their children illegitimate because of Edward's prior betrothal to another woman? Uh, Robert Stinton. Yes, after Gloucester usurped, I've started to all finish, usurped the throne in 1483, which member of the Lancastrian faction secretly brokered an agreement with Elizabeth whereby Henry Tudor would marry her eldest daughter, Elizabeth of York, if Henry seized the crown from Richard. At Margaret Beaufort. It was Lady Margaret Beaufort. And Lisa, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 10 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. Your name. David Drury. Your occupation? Tour guide. And your specialist subject? Banksy. 
The acclaimed street artist whose true identity has long remained a mystery. In two minutes, starting now, what's the name of the body set up by Banksy that describes itself as the sole point of contact for the artist and issues certificates of authenticity for his works? Pest control. Yes. What early freehand work depicting a teddy bear poised to throw a Molotov cocktail at three policemen did Banksy paint on the side of a building in Bristol in 1999? Mild, mild west. Yes. Which British model did Banksy depict multiple times in the style of Andy Warhol's Marilyn Monroe series, exhibiting the first version at his 2005 show Crude Oils? Kate Moss. Yes. The March 2001 exhibition Peace is Tough, at which Banksy exhibited works alongside those of the punk artist Jamie Reid, was held at which Glasgow venue? Kelvin Grove? No, The Arches. What was the title of the Banksy exhibition in Los Angeles in 2006 that included a literal live elephant in the room as one of the exhibits? Barely legal? Yes. What was the name of the derelict Lido in Western Supermare that Banksy transformed into the so-called bemusement park Dismaland in 2015? Tropicana. Yes, Banksy created the artwork for the cover of which album by the pop band Blur? Think Tank. Yes, what title did Banksy give to the glass-encased beetle with mock fighter plane wings that he hung on the wall of the American Museum of Natural History during an unauthorised incursion in 2005? With us or against us? Yes, the former French customs patrol boat, Sirwa, funded by Banksy to perform humanitarian search and rescue missions in the Mediterranean, was renamed after which French anarchist? Louise Michel. Yes, which English town's creative foundation won a legal battle to have Banksy's work, Art Buff, restored to its old high street after it had been cut out of a wall and shipped to Miami for sale? Nottingham? No, Folkestone, a Banksy mural painted in Lower Manhattan in March 2018, depicts which Kurdish journalist and artist behind bars alongside tally marks representing the days of her sentence? Zaira Dogan. Yes. What was the three-word name of the Banksy shop that appeared in Croydon in October 2019 but never actually opened its doors with the items visible through the windows but for sale online only? Gross domestic products. It was gross domestic products. And David, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 10 points. Thank you. And at the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with eight points, it's Steve. In joint second place with 10 points each, Lisa and David. And in first place with 13 points, it's Holly. So now, the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So let's ask Steve to join us again, please. Steve, you start with eight points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Starting now, in the NATO phonetic alphabet, the letter R is represented by the name of which Shakespearean character? Romeo. Yes, the name of which sign of the zodiac is the Latin word for twins? Gemini. Yes, which singer had his fifth consecutive UK number one album with his November 2021 release entitled Equals? Prince. No, Ed Sheeran, an alternative term for sod's law, the idea that if something can go wrong, it will go wrong, features what common Irish surname? Murphy. Yes, William H. Macy and Emmy Rossum play two members of a dysfunctional family living in Chicago in an American adaptation of what British television series set in Manchester? Shameless. Yes, Mykonos, Naxos and Santorini are part of which group of Greek islands in the Aegean Sea? Dodecanese? No, the Cyclades at the Cheltenham Festival in March 2022. Rachel Blackmore on a horse called Apluta became the first female jockey to ride the winner of which prestigious race? The Grand National? No, the Cheltenham Gold Cup. The 2010 memoir Must You Go is an account by the historian Lady Antonia Fraser of her marriage to which playwright? Um... Peter Carter. No, Harold Pinter. In the late 8th century, under Alfred the Great, which city in south-southern England was the capital of the Anglo-Saxon Kingdom of Wessex? Chichester. No, Winchester. In music notation, the bass clef is alternatively named after which note? 
G. No, F. What mythical creature was thought to be the subject of a picture published in 1934 that became known as the surgeon's photograph, but was later revealed to be a hoax? Uh, the um, Loch Ness Monster. Yes. What's the surname of the brothers Bobby and Peter who directed the 1990s comedy films Dumb and Dumber, Kingpin, and There's Something About Mary? Cohen. No, Farrelly. The word palmiped describes birds such as ducks, gulls and penguins that have what type of feet, a characteristic that helps to propel them through water? Webbed. Yes, webbed feet. What's the single word title of the Pulitzer Prize winning play by August Wilson that tells the story of Troy Maxson, an African-American former baseball star and his family? Stolen. No, fences. An artwork depicting a Moroccan scene which was owned, I've started so I'll finish which was owned by the actress Angelina Jolie and sold at auction for more than £8 million in March 2021, was painted by which British political figure? Edward Heath. No, it was Sir Winston Churchill. <laughs> and, Steve, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got a total of 14 points. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, it's Lisa. Lisa, you start with 10 points. The score to beat as it stands is 14 points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. In some animals, such as frogs or chameleons, which muscular organ is elongated and adapted to capture insect prey? Tongue. Yes, which novel by Robert Louis Stevenson, first published as a book in 1883, had earlier been serialised under the title The Sea Cook? Uh, Treasure Island. Yes, in the television sitcom Father Ted, which actor plays a slow-witted priest, Father Dougal Maguire? Adler Hanlon. Yes, what name for a form of facial hair grown down each cheek is derived from the surname of a Union general in the American Civil War who wore such a style? Sideburn? Yes. In the Doctor series of British comedy films that began with Doctor in the House in 1954, which actor plays a young medic named Simon Sparrow? Dirk Bogard. Yes. Which politician succeeded Nelson Mandela as President of South Africa in 1999 and served in the role until 2008? Pass. In August 2021, the Polish player Jan Krzysztof Duda won the World Cup in which board game? Chess. Yes. Faduz is the capital of which small European country? Liechtenstein. Yes. Which American rock band had UK number one albums entitled Elephant in 2003 and Icky Thump in 2007? White Snake. No, the White Stripes. In 1999, which test cricket ground in London opened its new media centre, which won that year's Sterling Prize for Architecture? Lords. Yes. What charitable organisation was founded in 1919 by the sisters Eglantine Jeb and Dorothy Buxton to provide aid and care for young people, including those affected by conflict? Oxfam. No, save the children. What's the usual five-letter word for snow or ice on the ground that has begun to melt and is very wet underfoot? Slush. Yes. What type of sausage made from coarsely cut pork and typically sold as a large coil shares its name with a former county in the northwest of England? Cumberland. Yes. The actress Una O'Neill, the daughter of the playwright Eugene O'Neill, was married to which British comedy actor from 1943 until his death in 1977? Peter Sellers. No, Charlie Chaplin. The Neolithic settlement at Scarabray, which was inscribed as part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999, is in which group of Scottish islands? Hebrides. No, Orkney. What's the name of the enchantress from Homer's Odyssey, who is the subject of a best-selling 2018 novel by Madeline Miller? Ilya. No, Circe. The title of which opera by Verdi is a shortened form of the name of the Babylonian king known in English as Nebuchadnezzar? Nebu. No, it's Nabucco. You had just a one pass. A politician who succeeded Nelson Mandela as president of South Africa, Thabo Mbeki. Mm. Yeah, and at the end of that round, Lisa, you got a total of 20 points. <laughs> and now, David. David, you start with 10 points. The score to beat as it stands is 20 points, and you've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. 
Starting now, Admiral of the Fleet is traditionally the highest rank in which of the UK's armed forces? The Navy. Yes, what word for the seller of a property is derived from a French verb meaning to sell? Basement? No, vendor. The actor Simon Gregson, who was a finalist on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, in 2021, is best known for playing Steve McDonald in which television soap? Coronation Street. Yes, the adventures of which fictional character were originally published in 1726 under the title Travels into Several Remote Nations of the World? Asterix. No, Gulliver. Mercury and aneroid are types of what scientific instrument specifically used to measure atmospheric pressure? Barometer? Yes. What two-word term for a secret force that works against its enemy from within was first used during the Spanish Civil War to refer to Franco's sympathizers inside Republican-held Madrid? Wooden horse? No. Fifth Column, O'Connell Bridge and Hapney Bridge are river crossings in the centre of which European capital city? Dublin. Yes. The singer born Arnold George Dorsey, who had two UK number one singles in 1967 entitled Release Me and The Last Waltz, took his stage name from which German composer? Uh, Bacharach? No, Engelbert Humperdinck. How many millimetres are there in one metre? A thousand? Yes. In May 2022, which French football club won the UEFA Women's Champions League for the eighth time, beating Barcelona in the final? Lyon? Yes. In the common expression for a very rare occurrence that refers to the second full moon within a calendar month, the moon is described as being what colour? Blue? Yes, the steamed dish known as chawan mushi is a savoury egg custard that originated in the cuisine of which Far Eastern country? Thailand? No, Japan. Ariana DeBose won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her performance as Anita in the 2021 film remake of what musical? West Side Story? Yes. The common species of which bushy evergreen shrub with spiny stems and bright yellow flowers has the scientific name Ulex Europaeus and is sometimes called furs or whin. Daffodils. No, gorse. The American inventor Elias Howe was granted a patent in 1846 for an early form of what device used in the clothing industry? Coat hanger. No, sewing machine. Which trade union was formed in 2007 by a merger of Amicus and the Transport and General Workers Union? RMT. No, Unite. What was the stage name of the British comedian who was a star of variety theatre from the 1920s to the 50s and was nicknamed the Cheeky Chappy because of the regular innuendo in his material? Frankie Howard. No, it was Max Miller. David, you had no passes. And at the end of that round, you've got 18 points. Thank you. And finally, let's have Holly again. Holly, you start with 13 points. The score to beat to get through to the semi-finals is Lisa's 20 points, and you've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The Fab Four was a nickname for which of a puddly and pop group? The Beatles. Yes. What term, partly derived from the Latin word for all, is used to refer to an animal that eats both meat and plants? Omni. Omnivore. Yes, Jeremy Vine and Dermot Murnahan have both presented which television quiz show first shown in 2003? Eggheads? Yes. What's the name of the tennis player who said she was really humbled to be named BBC Sports Personality of the Year for 2021? Emma Raducanu. Yes, the US presidents John Adams, John Quincy Adams, John F. Kennedy and George Bush Sr. were all born in which state in the northeast of the country? Massachusetts. Yes, what name from the French for stick is usually given to the small rod held by the conductor of an orchestra? A baton. Yes. What's the first name of the American novelist and travel writer who is the father of the documentary maker Louis Theroux? Uh, Richard Theroux? No. Paul Lindum Colonia was a Roman name for which cathedral city in eastern England? Ely? No. Lincoln. What Oscar-winning 1969 film stars John Voight and Dustin Hoffman as a pair of hustlers in New York City? Midnight Cowboy. Yes. What's the name of the Chinese-Malaysian fashion designer born in Penang who co-founded his namesake upmarket footwear company in London in 1996 with the magazine editor Tamara Mellon? Jimmy Choo. Yes. In February 2022, which member of the British royal family appeared on CBB's Bedtime Stories reading The Owl Who Was Afraid of the Dark by Jill Tomlinson? Kate Middleton. 
Yes, the Duchess of Cambridge. The music of the national anthem of which large Commonwealth country was composed in 1880 by Calixa Lavallee and officially adopted 100 years later with different versions of the words in French and English? Canada. Yes, in 1993, the journalist, television presenter and mountaineer Rebecca Stevens became the first British woman to reach the summit of which Himalayan peak? Everest? Yes, the towns of Lightning Ridge in New South Wales and Cooba Pedy in South Australia are major centres for the mining of which gemstone? Diamonds? No, Opal. What word derived from the French and Italian for broken counter or stall is a legal declaration by an individual that they are unable to meet their debts? Pass. Leptospirosis, an infection usually caught from water contaminated with the urine of animals such as rats and cattle, is also known by what name after the German physician who identified it? Pass. What fish is usually dried and salted? I've studied so I'll finish. To make the Jamaican national dish, ackee and saltfish. Tuna. No. <laughs> Cod. Holly, you had two passes, leptospirosis, an infection usually caught from water contaminated with the urine of animals. It's Viles disease. And I think you know this. The word derived from the French and Italian for broken counter or stall, a legal declaration that someone can't meet their debts. Bankruptcy. And at the end of that round, Holly, you've done it. You've got 24 <laughs> points. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So, let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 14 points, it's Steve. In third place with 18 points, it's David. In second place with 20 points, it's Lisa. And in first place with 24 points, it's Holly, which means she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to them. Now, if you'd like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind, and you can follow us as ever at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. When I first sat in the black chair, I had this strange sort of calm, you know, just looking at Clive's face and I felt all the nerves kind of disappear and just focused on that one thing. And your specialist subject. The BBC sitcom Ghosts. I chose Ghosts just because I think as a work of comedy, it's just, you know, the, the perfect comedy, I think, in half an hour. And I admire the creator so much and, yeah, it just makes me laugh. It's, it's probably my favourite show. <laughs> Five potatoes. Yes. Florence. Yes. Hermione and Roger. It was Hermione and Roger. And Holly, you had no passes and you've got 13 points. Thank you. Getting 13 in my special subject. I, I thought I'd studied well, but obviously, you know, I'd, I'd studied, I think, probably better than I ever thought I could have done to get a perfect score. It was, yeah, really surprising. Oh, I definitely encourage anyone to apply, especially young people and women and, and people that you don't normally see on Mastermind because, you know, regardless of your experience or your age or anything, you know, you can, you can do it if, if you put your mind to it. <laughs>